What's good, everybody? God bless you guys in Jesus' name. Let's talk about obedience and how you, I, we are vital and critical and critically needed for miracles to come into people's lives. Now, you do understand and realize, brothers and sisters, that that God is not just going to drop things out of the sky and, oh, oh, look at my blessing. (laughs) Hallelujah. My blessings here. (laughs) You know, like, like, come on, you know, like, you know, it's not Peter Pan and and Disneyland and, you know, boss, the plane, the plane, Fantasy Island. No, no, no. God always uses people. Oh, my God. My God. Wait a minute. The miracle is coming. It's coming out of the sky. (laughs) Glory to be to Jesus. I'm messing with you, but I'm not. See, because here's the thing, brothers and sisters. Christians sometimes can be funny. We all can be funny. And sometimes, you know, like what we're believing God for. See, we have the confession of faith. But do we have the walk of faith? To walk it out, to position ourselves, one, to be used of the Lord, to be a blessing, but also two, to position yourself, to receive the blessing. See, brothers and sisters, hear me. God wants to send your blessing to you, and it's going to come in a package of another. It's going to come in a form of a man or a woman. It's going to come through a brother or sister. See, and if God has to, God will even send your financial breakthrough and and, and miracle even through an unbeliever that God actually gets the attention of. That says, you know what? I don't know why, but I want to give you this. I don't know why. I want to bless you with this. I don't know why, but I see what you're doing and you're doing great things. And I just want to be, I just want to, I want to be a part of this and because I know that what you're doing and I don't understand Christianity fully, you know, because that's how they say, you know, I don't understand, you know, all of what it is you talk about and, you know, what Christian. And here's the thing. Little do they know, little do they know that what they're doing is actually sowing a seed even into their blessing, their promise, their blessing, setting themselves up for God's favor to come their way. The Bible says if you receive a prophet in the name of the prophet and they don't even know that you're a prophet, they're going to receive a prophet's reward or an evangelistic reward. See, there's a blessing that comes upon people that bless God's sons and God's daughters, especially when there's an assignment upon their life and God is leading them to something and God is, you know, doing an amazing work in their life. But many people miss opportunities. Many people don't step in they don't uh, they don't recognize the windows of heaven that are open sometimes in their moment sometimes in their season see and and i don't know if i did the video just recently but i i I did a post i'm trying to remember but basically it's this if you don't do it god will find somebody else that will if you don't want to step out in faith God will find somebody else that will. See, he's not going to force you to be blessed. He's not going to force you. And, and, and watch this. But Christians, they cry, they pray. They pray, they cry. They cry, they pray. But they don't put no feet to their faith. How do you think you're going to step into your miracle? Magically out of the air? Peter Pan? Are you out there? <laughs> Where you at? Blessing. Where you at? Blessing. Blessing. Where you at? Glory to Jesus. <laughs> People looking, looking at me all crazy. Hallelujah. You guys got me looking all crazy. See? See what y'all doing? So brothers and sisters, hear me. But God wants to position you for a miracle. But he's also going to provoke you for a miracle. But the choice is yours to be obedient for the miracle. To be a miracle or to receive a miracle. He's not going to force you. But he wants to engage with you and he wants for you to have what it is you're praying for. See, sometimes, and I've seen this in the church, brothers and sisters, Christians pray. And they want God to do things in their life. But they don't. But when it shows up or it demands their faith to step into something, they get scared. They get scared of the miracle. They get scared of the opportunity. They get scared of the blessing. They get scared 
or what it is that God is doing because they didn't think it was going to come so soon. What are you praying for then? Come on, somebody. See, don't be surprised when your miracle shows up unexpectedly. Don't be surprised if God opens a door for you unexpectedly. Don't be surprised if all of a sudden God begins to position you and line you up and begins to bring people to you and begins to bring people uh, brings people to you, but also brings you to others that is going to be setting you up for where God wants to take you. See, brothers and sisters, God wants to bless you. You've been praying to be blessed. But you also could be the very one that actually hinders the blessing because if the blessing or the windows of heaven open up for you, it scares you. You run because, because it's unexpected. See, people pray for things they don't even know they have the capacity to even receive. But like I said, but God will pass you by and find another who does. See, stewarding in the kingdom, walking in in the kingdom. You got to remember, he chose 12. Out of the 12, there was three. Out of the three, there was one. Yohanan, John the Beloved. The one that was, he was the only one there at the crucifixion. See, just because there's numbers doesn't mean that everybody's willing to go all the way. Just because people are in the church doesn't mean they have faith. Just because they walk around with a cute Bible and a Bible case and some notes and highlighters doesn't mean they're lit up for Jesus. It doesn't mean the, the highlight of their life is faithfulness. The highlight of their life is obedience. The highlight of, the, of their life is walking into the miraculous. See, because the miraculous, it, it will shake the foundation of your human psyche. See, the miraculous and God showing up in your midst and doing for you, oh, will catch you off guard. It will catch you off guard. So, my, so here's what I'm going to say to you today. Settle it in your heart so that you don't destroy the blessing when it comes. Be ready to receive what it is you've been praying for. Don't be like many Christians, especially here in America, where they have this fantasy island mentality, this Peter Pan mentality, as if like, you know, as if opportunities are, are, are going to happen to you every week. Ah, uh, you better cease the opportunity in the moments when they come your way, brothers and sisters. Because you don't you don't know when that window is going to open for you again. You don't know when you don't know when that opportunity is going to come your way again. You don't know that. Cease the moments. Cease the opportunities. Be discerning and be obedient. Be obedient to step into and be obedient to receive. What is God sending you into and what is God sending to you? That is going to be a benefit and an add and a plus to your life that will bring about blessing and favor and an increase of his glory because of the assignment that God links you up with. It could be individually, it could be relationally, it could be corporately, it could be with a body of believers that God may want to bring you to that, that literally you step into and you, and you say to yourself, man, you know what? Had I never said yes to this, I would have never experienced the glory I would have never experienced what it is that God is doing in my life had I not stepped out and did what it is that I knew by faith God was leading me to, even though I was scared. Even though I was hesitant in the beginning because I wanted to make sure that it was of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, position yourself. Get ready to walk into the blessing. And if you don't think, and hear me when I say this, if you think that windows open all the time, if you think opportunities happen all the time, now you could step into a season where it feels like everything is clicking and popping. If it, 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 it could feel like everything literally is just going your way. And though that's true, there are times and seasons that that does truly happen. I've experienced it. But you know like I know. But there's also moments of time. There's also moments within our life that windows of opportunity that connections and blessings and, and God's favor and open doors and the windows that are being opened for you that heaven it has unveiled and is wanted to uh, shower into your life. Just be ready to receive. Amen. 
in Jesus' name. You can't, you can't afford to make another lap around that mountain of doubt, fear, and unbelief. Step in with faith and trust the Lord in Jesus' name.